What's up my peeps, it's Zantan for a brand new Supercard episode and I've got a ton of catching up in this ring domination. I didn't start playing it till today, and actually late today, so Thursday I didn't play RD at all, so I gotta speed things up if I wanna get this Kurt Angle card. I will make sure though that by the end of the event, I've got the card. Now despite me starting RD just today, I'm fully aware of the issue going on where stats are going up like Super Saiyan mode, they're going to 6 digits. You're seeing cards with stats in the 100k range, 200k, 300k, and so on and so forth. It's got to do with the manager support cards. Although I didn't start playing right away, I knew about it because I checked out the official forums when the event started and people started reporting on it pretty quickly. Now I'm sure by now most of you have seen the statement that Supercard has put out, basically saying that they're aware of the issue and they're working on the fix. But what surprised me here is that they said the fix is going to be done prior to the next ranked domination and not during this one. You see, right when I heard about it, I thought, oh, okay, I wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and either extend the event time, give out some free credits, 300 or something like that, because that's the usual amount that they give, or both, because that's what they usually do or have done in the past whenever there's been an issue with an event. So I was kind of surprised with this, that there were no free credits given or the event extended. I would have liked the event to be extended simply for the fact that, you know, I started playing it late. Uh, but also the fact that it's not going to be fixed now, but it's going to be fixed prior to the next RT. Thankfully, it hasn't, you know, cost me too many matches, actually. I think it cost me only one or maybe two matches. But even then... They're not actually, you know, really costing me the match because if I'm about to lose an RT match or RTG, I just exit out and restart the game and I don't lose my bot that way. But that's still wasted time. But speaking of issues though, Team Battleground still has the same issues. Some matches you'll play and then you'll get zero points for them. It's been the case for a couple months now. I think it started when Team Battleground started and it's still the case right now, even after this latest update, adding the SummerSlam 17 tier, you'll still find instances where you win a match, but you get zero points for it. That's a big problem, especially in competitive Team Battleground matches. And it happened again this time in our first SummerSlam 17 at Team Battleground. Two of our members got hit with the same problem, getting zero points for a match. Not all the matches though, but I think they got uh, each one match where they got zero points for it. Um, despite that though, I think even if we hadn't gotten that, the opposing team would have won. Our weakest player had a far too weak deck. But anyways, congrats and a uh, good game to the big rack attack. They beat us, making this our second ever team battleground loss. But hey, we're looking to get that winning streak back because I'm looking to get my SummerSlam 17 cards up, man. I'm not trying to get some 33 cards. I already got enough of those. Anyways, if you guys missed yesterday's video, I went through 500 picks within the SummerSlam 17 tier, hoping for a SummerSlam 17 pull. Because the last time I got a 33 pull was a while back. It's been a while. So the chances of me pulling a SummerSlam 17 card during that episode were really high. Now, unfortunately, I didn't pull one, but it got me really close. And I mean really close because today I got my first SummerSlam 17 pull. So you guys saw my freebie. It ended up being Enzo Amore, a pretty bad card in the tier. Not the absolute worst, but still pretty bad. I mean, heck, e Eric Rowan in the SummerSlam 17 tier is better than Enzo. And Eric Rowan has a history of being one of the worst cards in pretty much every tier that he's in. But like I said, not the absolute worst card. There's weaker cards in the tier. So while I was pretty bummed out about that, I was excited today when I saw it pop up, the, the Flash, SummerSlam 17, my first pull in the tier, and the card ends up being even weaker than Enzo Amore. It ends up being another Speed and Charisma card. Power is weaker than Enzo. Toughness is weaker than Enzo. It's Heath Slater, by the way. I'm like, all right, something has to be stronger than Enzo here. No, weaker speed and weaker charisma too. Like, there is no redeeming quality to this Heath Slater card compared to the Enzo Amori card. Enzo beats him in every set. How does that make any sense? Like, Heath has to beat him at something. At least toughness. I'm pretty sure Heath has kicked out of, I don't know, stronger moves than Enzo. He, he was a former tag team champion on the main roster. He was with the Nexus. Why is he weaker than Enzo in every stat? I don't know. So yes, I ended up getting an even weaker card as my first uh, SummerSlam 17 pull. But once again, 
the positive to getting these weak cards early on in the tier, or even later on in the tier, is that early on in these events, they tend to give out the weaker cards. Now this first event, I'm not getting a pro out of it because it's Jason Jordan, but maybe for Road to Glory. The only issue with Heath Slater is we haven't seen him on TV in like, what? Weeks? Months? It's been a while since we've seen Heath Slater on TV, so I don't even know if they'll think of putting Heath Slater in there. Well, they thought of putting him into the tier, so hopefully we'll see him in an RD or RTG. Well, actually, for those of you who don't have him, you probably don't want a Heath card or an Enzo card because it's not a pro for you. But, uh, yeah, bad luck so far when it comes to the tier, but that might change in the future. Now, in the freebie episode, I ask you guys to let me know which card you got as your SS17 freebie, and you guys posted up a ton of comments, so I'm gonna read a couple of them right here. So, NGM Mo said, I got the Maharaja, I don't really like him, but he's pretty good, I'm happy with him. I'd be happy too. Now, I like Jinder Mahal, I know you said you don't like him, but he's actually one of the better cards in the tier, and it seems you know that. Personally, I'd be happy if I pulled the card, I think it's a good Jinder Mahal picture that they use, and also I like that it reflects the current Jinder Mahal. He's one of the better cards in the tier, and at the moment, on TV, he is the WWE Champion. Uh, so, I like it when things are updated and it reflects what you see on TV. I don't like it when, for instance, a superstar is strong on TV, but yet in Supercard, his card isn't all that great. For instance, this was weird. In Season 1, Roman Reigns on TV, he, he was strong. Roman Reigns, well, Roman Reigns always looks, looks strong, but... In Supercard, he was actually one of the worst cards in the Survivor tier. It was so weird. And I'm talking about Season 1 here, not talking about Season 2. Just in case anybody goes, No, Roman Reigns is the best, man. He's a great Survivor guy. Season 1, not Season 2. Now, what we got? Another comment out. This one really doesn't have to do with freebies, but Dak Huber said, Wow, at the start, look at that amazing card back for the SS17 draft picks, but mine looks different. Yeah, that was weird, and I addressed this in my 500 picks video. I think the red card back is a normal looking card back. Now, if you guys don't know what he's talking about, Take a look at my freebie video and take a look at the card backs in that one compared to the ones in this video. Well, actually, you can't see them in this video because I'm playing uh, Ring Domination, but I guess compare the ones of my freebie video to my 500 pigs video. It's not the same color. I guess the red back is supposed to be the normal color because it seems like everybody else has a red card back. Anyways, moving on to the next comment. I'm not going to try and spell your last name because I might mess it up. So I'm just going to say Miko. Miko said, I got Brock Lesnar. I think it's the best card in the tier after event cards. Am I right? Uh, you're right. Brock, if you get Brock in pretty much any tier, that is a great free beer pull to get. Brock, it's no different here in the SS17 tier. He is a top card. Actually, uh, I think he is the top card. Pretty sure. So congrats to you for getting such an awesome card right off the bat. The only thing is, though, with you getting pretty much the top card in the tier, I wouldn't expect to get a pro at least from RD and RTG early on, but who knows, you might pull a second one, or you might win one, a uh, second one from King of the Ring, or Team Battleground. Moving on, Michael Thomas says, I sadly got Mr. Lucha Kalisto. Yeah, Kalisto is pretty much the worst card you can get in the tier. So sorry about that. I mean, I thought Enzo was bad. Kalisto. Kalisto is even worse. I mean, I don't get it though. Kalisto, I would consider Kalisto a better superstar in terms of like stat wise than Enzo. Enzo just gets beat up every single time. Kalisto has actually done stuff. He's won championships on, well, he's won one championship on the main roster, the US title. I think he beat Del Rio once, right? Or maybe twice. Yeah, I do remember he beat Del Rio. Actually, I think he was the one, he, he beat Del Rio for the U.S. title, he beat Braun Strowman, even though it was, you know, wasn't your typical match. And so, I don't understand why Kalisto has such low stats. Zamasu then says, I got AJ Styles. Now, that's a good card to get. Congrats to you for getting AJ Styles. Definitely not a bad card, a good card in the tier. But I will say this, I expected AJ to have slightly higher stats. Kind of surprised that he's he's a bit lower than I expected. But anyways, that's going to be it for the comments. Before I end this video, I've got two things to address here. First off, in my freebie video, I talked about the support cards. Because in the patch notes, they mentioned the support cards. The, uh, the term that they used was kind of confusing. Uh, so I thought that it meant the support cards wouldn't count, wouldn't reset your counts, or your counter, I should say. But 
Turns out, it actually does. So, that's still a bad part about the support cards. Second of all, I wanted to quickly mention that there's a good chance I need two to three temporary members for a team battleground tomorrow. Now, keep in mind, these members need to be SummerSlam, or actually 33++ plus plus to anywhere in the SummerSlam 17 tier. So, if you're 33++ plus plus or above, go to my Twitter and chances are I'll have a tweet up asking for people to send me screenshots of their Team Battleground decks fully charged. Just keep in mind that it's for 33++ plus plus players and above because the tier is still early, so I can't be bringing in lower tiers right now or then the team's tier is no longer going to be in SummerSlam 17 and then there's no point in doing the Team Battleground. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button down below, subscribe for more videos, and click that notification bell to be notified of every single upload as soon as it goes up. With that said, I'm out. See ya.